Hang in there. Mm. Poor choice of words. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Onikemo Gaming. This is the Shinigami Run, Episode 7. We're here to collect all the names, collect all the lives, and keep on trucking in a cool-like fashion. Uh, we got our sunglasses on. Anyway. I'm just gonna tag him from far, let him fall asleep so I can creep up on him. There's also a guy up top with binoculars, and I don't want to get spotted doing my business. Use the coolant to wake him up faster, and presto. Freeze! Are you going to shoot me? You know I am, baby. You should all know the drill by now. You know I'm going to take your things, too. All right, all right. Now we're heading to the Stride e. The first thing you want to do once you get in here is basically just hit the south of this room. You're pretty much safe on the left side unless you do anything real silly. Now, from this position, I'm going to take out all the security cameras in the room. There's two on the south side, one on the north side. we got a clear shot from the south side here. Now, in this position in the room, you cannot be discovered. Just don't lure anyone towards you. You can't be discovered. So I'll go ahead and put this guy to sleep, and you know the drill, we wake him up. Now he plays hard to get, but we have something for that. In this room it's so loud that you can pretty much use your pistol as long as you're not right next to somebody. I went ahead and got the bomb because it was serendipitous. This guy is also in a little bit of a precarious situation because that one guy turning back and forth at the top of the room can spot us when we try to get him. So I'll just bring him all the way up here to handle it safely. I go back down here to get the node and the cardboard box, so just watch me work, y'all. Watch me work. Using his cycle of yawning and turning around, I get back and forth where I need to be, and then we get to the strut E heliport. I know I left him, but I got a gun back for him later. There's a guy on the other side of this building, once you skip the cutscene and code it call and all that, and I'm just gonna put him to sleep for now so he doesn't alert while I take everyone on the roof out in the meantime. So once you're up here, you can you can put sloppy shots in them and let them fall asleep while you make your way over because you have a lot of legwork up here. Anyway, that's pretty much what I do with the second guard. I get this guy and rinse and repeat, baby. And then I go and take care of the second guy, hit the bomb, and then I go back downstairs and get the guy that I left down here on the scaffold in the beginning. And this guy also plays hard to get, but hey, like I said, we got something for that. Let's head back downstairs and get the mine detector, then take care of our boy in the parcel room. Now, I'd save him for dead last because he's a radio guy, so somebody will be coming in here to check it out if we don't ha handle it all quickly. <laughs> Sky dog. Alright, so that's us getting through strike E this uh, this time. Uh, next actually. time we'll be going across the EF Necken Bridge, contending with the Claymore Mines that are out here, the guard who's on top, the fact that we have two more boxes than what we started with, then we gotta head into Strut F itself, and um, where we got the M9 to begin with. Y'all have a great night. Thanks for watching. Hey y'all, it's your boy Acidic. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. If you want to support the channel, that'd be mega awesome. Please hit up the Patreon. Any support would be appreciated. I'm trying to do my own thing. So, take it easy.